What's up, family? This is your boy, Daku. And I got to share this with y'all today. You know, it's a little light, but then at the same time, it's a serious topic. A family member of mine, which means she's a black Native American, black African Native American, a uh, more indigenous to the territory that we call the United Snakes of America. She's a uh, Hebrew Israelite, black Hebrew Israelite. You know, I'm, I'm so confused, even as a conscious person, uh, we debate so much over names that I have no idea what to call myself. I choose to accept the Asiatic black man. I choose to accept that, but it doesn't matter what we accept because whether you want to call a cat a cat or a chicken, it's still what it is. So I had to get that out of the way. So uh, my loved one, who to me has very naturally beautiful hair, told me that, you know what, Daku, I need to, uh, I need to get my hair done because it's looking a hot mess. Many of our sisters will say that in a heartbeat. My hair is looking a hot mess. Now, mind you, this particular person is very educated, world-traveled, world-exposed, very, very intelligent. Okay? She's very, uh, what you would call, successful in the world of white supremacy. Yes, white supremacy. You didn't think you were going to view a video with your brother Daku and he not at least mention white supremacy, did you? So she told me that her hair was a hot mess and that, you know, she just didn't feel comfortable going out with her hair looking this hot mess. So I told her, you know, send me a picture of your hair. I promise I won't do a video if you include your face. But she was kind enough to send me the picture of her hair without including her face so that I could speak to you about how ridiculous we are and how poisoned against ourselves we are. I mean, even the most intellectual among us, the most successful, the most paid among us want to look like the white man. We are truly mental slaves in the middle of 2015. I'm wondering, is it me or do other brothers out there love the way our sisters look in their natural skin, if you will? I remember back in high school, man, I had this crush on this girl. She was so black, she was blue black. She didn't have hair all going all down her back. She had, as the Honorable Dr. Khaled Abdul Muhammad would say, hair so nappy and beautiful that it looked like a million black power fists standing up on top of her head. Man, I love this girl so much, meaning that I had a crush on her. I wanted to get with this girl. But all the, many of the brothers around me, not all of them, were saying things like, Bill, man, she ugly as dirt. You like Sharada, man? You crazy. I'm like, am I really crazy? Or is it that I am free, as the Akabu says, you have to be so free that you have a vision of beauty that's independent of the vision of the world. So I guess I was free even in high school, which is why, to a certain degree, I was an outcast. To a certain degree. I mean, I had friends, you know, grew up in the hood just like everybody else. But I never really quite fit in because I always thought in a way that was independent of the slave master, which is why I was able to see this chick's beauty. She was beautiful. She didn't even know herself how beautiful she was. So coming back to the hot mess hair that my loved one was talking about. You looking at the hair now. I need you to chime in. I usually don't ask for your responses because I don't really <laughs> care, you know, no offense about what people think about what I say. I just want to share the truth, whether you like that truth or not. But in this case, I want to know, is it is it me or am I, am I truly crazy? Because I see the beauty 
are black, African, Moorish, Hebrew, Israelite, black, Hebrew, Israelite, indigenous, whatever goddamn name you want to say. <laughs> Asiatic, Asiatic, black man, whatever name you choose. Am I truly crazy, fellas? Because the indigenous looking, I call it exotic. Women, I mean, they turn me to hell on. <laughs> okay. And women that I consider having a mask on, they turn me the hell off. Makeup, too much makeup, so much that you look like homie the clown. I mean, I'm sorry to, to put it like that, but it's a fact. Look like homie the clown, all right, in my opinion. You don't know what their face look like. You don't know what their hair look like. You don't know anything about them. You don't know what their body looks like because they're covering it with European clothes. You don't know anything. So all of you fellas out there that are falling in love with these women based on their so-called beauty, you're falling in love with a mask, much like our people fall in love with the mask of white supremacy. You fall in love with the society as if it really has something to offer you. And the truth is, it really has nothing to offer you but death. And if it's not your own death, it's your comfort at the expense of others. Your comfort is based on the death of your neighbors, of your family. But I digress, we're talking about so-called natural hair. And why do women call it a hot mess? Is it really a hot mess? Or is your brain and your mind a hot mess? Just want to give you something to think about. Please feel free to respond. Good, bad, or ugly, I'm not going to care. Either way, as I said, I'm always here to share the truth with you. Or the so-called perceived truth. Whether you like that truth or not, this has been your brother Daku, Agabo Wakatu.